2020 has been a tough year for us all, but my Tesla keeps getting better. Let's talk to my five system updates from Tesla on a next Mix of Tech. Hi guys, welcome to Mix of Tech, where I review technology for the consumer to prosumer, and I give my take on the things that I see. In 2020, I was very fortunate to get my long range Model Y and it was delivered in March, unexpected based upon the circumstances, but I was very thrilled to have it. I was fortunate enough throughout the last nine months to get five really impressive updates that I believe are important towards the improvement of my vehicle and what I've seen through 2020. Now this is for a all wheel drive, long range Model Y without full self-driving. Let's dig into the top five, starting with number five. All right, number five, it's a 2020.48.26. That's right, it's the holiday release. I didn't get the opportunity to enjoy the boombox because I'm one of the earlier Model Ys, but I did enjoy the updates to the UI. I know some have some differing opinions on it, but I do think for Tesla, it's a good change. I like the overall perspectives on both the left and right panes, and I do think that they will make improvements. It may not just be about what it looks like, but it may be from a functional standpoint, it's a really good fit. Number four, 2020.32.1. Yeah, that's right, it's a minor update, but it's an important one, and something that I think Tesla should have had on their cars a long time ago and that's notifications when the car door is open and also the ability to close my windows when I lock my car. Number three, 2020.45.5. Having improvements to the backup camera so that my side cameras can be used, that one was a good one. Number two, 2020.40.8. Lots in this one. Improvements to efficiency. Who gets more miles out of their cars? You do on Tesla. Glove box pin, which that's important for safety. And some of the other things that I enjoyed was the prioritization on my Bluetooth. Not having to compete with my wife's devices was very nice. Number one, 2020.12.6. This may be surprising for some of you all, but this was a big update, especially if you had a Tesla before 2020 and that's the dash cam viewer. To be able to look at your footage from what you had with sentry mode and from your dash cam all on your Tesla, that one was big, and that's something I use daily. As Tesla owners, we've come to expect improvements to our Tesla by software updates, and the reason for it is because Elon listens. So I'm hoping Elon's listening to my top five wish list for 2021. Number five, UI preferences. I think with the holiday release, that was the start of this. And I think in 2021, we'll get the capability between settings to modify what we see as visualizations on our car. And I think that's gonna be a good one. Number four, I really want Tesla to add more to the theater. Having HBO Max, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus would be great options really nice to have that added to the theater options. Full self-driving subscription. We know it's coming, but I hope it's coming at the right price and allows us to choose it through an a la carte model so that we can be able to purchase the things that we want, when we want on a monthly basis. Number two, remote sentry access. Just like I have with my Ring devices at home, I wanna be able to watch my car on my phone, at least at minimum be able to know when somebody's come close to my car or might have damaged my car so I can quickly take action. Number one, I'm kinda of surprised Tesla and Apple haven't worked this out, but I really would like to see Apple CarPlay or Apple Music. I know there's rumors of Apple Music, which is exciting because at minimum, that bring my music library into my Tesla without having to use just Bluetooth and trying to leverage different capabilities to get it on my Tesla. Having it native on my Tesla would be fantastic, but to have CarPlay, that would be even better. So I could have Waze, which that alone, Waze and Apple Music, that's all I need. 
those are the two things I use heavily and to have it natively on my Tesla, that would be big. That's my top five list for software updates in 2020. And I'm excited to see what 2021 is going to bring. If I miss something or there's something that you think should be added in 2021, comment below. I want to hear about it. And if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe.